Dobre vecher. It is Yad David Splitnikov, and welcome to another exciting edition of As the Blade Turns. Well, with the cancellation of the Grand Prix final, I fell into deep depressions. What would I talk about? Would the public still love me? But then over the weekend, I got the truest gift from Christmas I could have ever wanted. An interview from Tatiana and Otolevna Tarasova. The diva, great coach of the USSR, and beach, Tatiana, appeared on the television program One in a Million. And she answered about everything, about coaching, about life, about the Terry Tudbaritza, and her feud with Evgeny Plushenka and his wife, Yana Rudovskaya. During the program, Tarasova students dropped into the studio, Alexei Yagudin, Natalia Besmianova, Arina Moiseyeva and Andrei Minenkov, and Tatiana Navka. At the start of the program, Kudryatseva presented Tarasov with a turtle. She knew that the famous coach collects them. And we learned many things about Tarasova's life. They asked her the important question, why did you take on student Arina Rodnina and Alexander Zaitsev? And she told us, for me, victory matters. I had it for six years, two Olympics. They asked me to take them, to start, and they were afraid I would not take them. They came to me. I didn't go to them. I didn't need them for a hundred years. But once I took them, I tried to show my work. The interviewer said, you have raised dozens of champions who skated for their homeland. Has your homeland paid you back generously? Of course. I miss... Tamara Moskvina says, stop talking about it. But I don't have a skating rink and therefore I don't have a school. This is the most important thing that would be in my life. I came here when I was 60. Before that, I had been in America for 10 years because we had difficult times here. I coached Ilya Kulik, Oksana Grishuk, and Evgeny Polatov, and they were all Olympic champions. And Aloshka, Yagudin. And of course, I would like a school to have coaches whom I invited to teach them to continue my direction. But this did not happen. It is already too late for me to talk about it. God willing, I will be 75. This is not the age when you can start something. Our homeland gave me such amazing athletes. To which the interviewer said, it was you who gave such athletes to the homeland. Tarasova, I tried to. Is your pension worthy? It's just like the others. That is no merit? Not for what you brought up? No, we don't have that. I don't know why. Why they didn't take pity on us as they took pity on the Olympic champions. We raised them too. And there are not so many of us, these coaches. We too are only a few of the fingers on one hand. Can you say that is why you are forced to work? No. It is impossible not to work. Do you have a fortune? All the same, you are trying to come to me. How can we go on without it? We lived in a big, wide, wonderful family. Now I am alone. Of course, there is something. This is not to say that I can buy an airplane or a villa in Italy. But here I can live. I have no children. There is a beloved nephew who is doing my father's big job. He is the head of the Golden Buck. I help him as much as I can, and his children, and that's all. I want to ask you about the most personal. You have hundreds of students, thousands of friends, but it turns out that there are very few loved ones. Did you regret that you put your career above motherhood? Yes, I had no time. I was very passionate about work. Do I regret it? Yes, I'm sorry. I do not regret it to the point of insanity. But now it would be easier for me. Would you like a son like Yagudin? Well, this is not that different. I would like a girl. It's more fun with a girl. Bows are more fun to tie. If you could rewind time, what would you change in life? Almost nothing. I would take myself a language teacher. I am missing what I know. I would take two teachers, English and French. Is that the only thing you would change? 
Perhaps yes. Editor's note. Think of the judges she could woo and interviews she could give if she had taken a teacher for English and French, like with the skating lesson, her true biggest fans. But they could not communicate effectively. This is their pain. And hers as well. Speaking about pain, Tarasova spoke about the shoulder injury that ended her career at age 19. And she only recently confessed that in recent years she was tormented by unbearable pain. Due to problems with the spine, she was forced to move only in a wheelchair. In 2013, she underwent a complex spinal surgery and after a long rehabilitation, was able to get up and take a few steps. But a year ago, the pain returned with triple strength. The interviewer asked, are the echoes of that trauma making themselves felt today? Yes, of course. It so happened that I started working at the age of 19 because I had this injury. Trauma makes you look at life in a new way because it absolutely changes you. Really, then it was impossible to heal the shoulder and return to figure skating. It could not have been cured at all, and now it is impossible. This dislocation is a serious thing that prevents pair skating. What kind of operation did you have in 2013? There were no operations. Why should I remember this? I don't remember, not because I have a bad memory, but because I don't want to remember it. Uh, question. Olympic champion Tatiana Navka calls you figure skating mom. You have given her advice more than once. Navka is convinced that only thanks to one of your most caustic remarks at the 2000 Olympics in Torino, she received the highest mark for artistry and conquered the ice at the Olympics. Uncover the secret. What did you tell her? I do not remember. If it was necessary at the moment, then I told her. That is, you understand what the power of your words is? Of course. The hell would I give up if I didn't have the power of words. Have you known Navka for a long time? Did you understand that this is a future champion? Since childhood. Tanushka stood out. I didn't take it when her mother offered her to me. Because I had Besmianova and Buchan. I had no time. What qualities do you dislike in people? Rudeness. Greed. Greed, one might say. I have to say that this rudeness it was such a curious word from Tarasova. I first met Tarasova at the World Championships in Boston. And I saw Tarasova and she recognized me. And she said, oh, wait right here. Then Tarasova went to the bathroom. She was gone a long time. When she came back, her mood had changed. She said, hurry up, take the picture. And we moved along. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she dislikes rudeness. <laughs> then the interviewer said, there is a lot of discussion about the opposition between Plushenka and Dudberidze. No, it's even funny to say Eteri is an outstanding coach. Zhinya is a beginner coach. Maybe Rudhovskaya decided that it would be more useful for a promotion. But this is wrong. This is ridiculous. What to talk about? Zhinya has been working for only a year. She does not understand that it is not words that decide, that work, actions decide here. When she understands this, it will not be too late. But she has already ruined a lot for him. I see that it works well, and I state this. And when there is a result, then there will be a result. What is stopping them? Nothing bothers them but time. Why did the skater girls leave Zhenya? Because. You are not prejudiced against him? No. Why should I be prejudiced against Zhenya? Well, because of Lesha Yagudin. Who is Lesha Yagudin and who is he? Who was more artistic at the time, Zhenya or Lesha? Of course, Lesha. And more technical? Of course, Lesha. Then where did this confrontation come from? Because both did the same number of quads, of triples. What about Dorf Dorf? Do you see potential in him? I don't really see it yet. In my opinion of an amateur Nom Nomish, as Sasha is called, he skates very well. He skates well. I think we just need to be silent for a little. Be silent for two years. Why are you called the Snow Queen of figure skating? Because I am a beauty. This is true. 
You have lived with Vladimir Kraniev for 33 years. Have you fought during those 33 years? As everybody does. Was this a happy life? Da. He was a man obsessed with music. He was a man of genius. He didn't need anything else. And he was proud of me. Well, I was proud. As Yurka Rost always says, he bragged about you. And what happened before Vladimir? I was sure you would ask. Before, I was married twice. I had very good husbands. Wonderful. Why didn't it work out, youth? Can you tell me why it didn't work out for you? You are probably not the first. I am the third. Well, it didn't work out with someone. Did not work out. Have you ever regretted it? Niet. Then a voice overcame on the program and said, About marriage with the promising athlete Vasily Komenkov when Tarasova was 23. And after six years she became a widow. The newspapers wrote, After a quarrel with Tarasova, he took his own life. Homenkov was 29 years old. You know that many students felt the same way after quarrels with this powerful woman. At the end of the show, Tarasova was given the opportunity to earn a million, on a condition that she reveals the secret from the envelope. This is the million dollar secret. Kudryatseva invited Tarasova to reveal one terrible secret about her personal life, which became known to the program. Inside the envelope is a question about this secret, and the choice is up to Tarasova, either to answer or to burn the envelope on a candle. Tarasova burned without hesitation. One of the lesser discussed moments of the interview that appeared to make us sad was when Tatiana Tarasova spoke about hoping to reach age 75 and began giving away pieces of jewelry to Leisure Yagudin on the program. This is not a woman who seems to be brimming with optimism. But after insinuating that Yana Rodhovskaya would act with quarrels and scandals for publicity, Yana Rudhovskaya, agent, mogul, television personality, and wife of Evgeny Plushenka, did what any wife and mother would do who was accused of being a publicity hound. She gave an interview to Sport Express, where she invoked the names of Tarasova, Tudbaridze, and stars Trusova and Kasternaya, generating dozens of headlines around the Russian skating press. You know, producer wife of two-time Olympic champion Evgeny Plushenka Yarodhovskaya commented on the words of honored coach of the USSR, Tatyana Tarasova. I really respect Tatyana Anotolevna Tarasova. To be honest, I'm shocked by her words. I refuse to comment on this, Rudhovskaya replied. Two years ago, my husband stood up for her when Tudberidze's team humiliated her in the comments on Team Tudberidze's Instagram. They say, do not meddle. There will be less of your love and care. To say that I ruined something to my husband? It is impossible for him to ruin something. He has great results with juniors. Apart from him, none of the coaches stood up to her. Except for Lesha Yagudin, whose coach she was. Virginia, said Rudkovskaya. Sasha is only eight years old. He has all of the double-double cascades. The great talent just started jumping and broke his arm. But I think he will recover within a month. Boys generally develop more slowly in sports than girls. But last year, he did not lose a single start, being the smallest of the participants. So it depends on whom to compare him with. She does not see potential. But Alexei Nikolaevich Mishin, Elena Anatolevna Tchaikovskaya see. Brian Orser sees. Raphael Artunian sees. Nikolai Morozov sees, and my husband and his entire team see. These opinions are authoritative for me. She then continued. The opinion of Tatiana Antolevna Tarasova is authoritative for someone. But for me, since she did not raise my husband and has nothing to do with my family, her opinion about my child is not fundamental. Sasha is only at the very beginning of his journey. He has everything ahead of him. I know that if my son works hard, he does not have problems with injuries, 
he will become a very good athlete. And I would not my, want my son to graduate at the age of 15 to 17, as often happens in a very well-known headquarters with girls, said Rulhovskaya. Then, young Rulhovskaya told the details of the transfer of figure skater Alexander Trusova from Kocheteri to Baritza to the Plushenka Academy. Trusova spent last season at the Angels of Plushenka. After the World Championships, in which she won bronze, the skater returned to Tuberidze. If Sasha Trusova had not come to Evgeny, she would have gone to another coach anyway. Moreover, she would not return to Tuberidze even now. It's just that those coaches to whom she wanted to go abroad, they took her only in collaboration with Zhenya. Do you mean Artunian? I will not speak. The decision to end cooperation was mutual both for Sasha and Zhenya. It was not only Sasha's decision. Zhenya also could not work with Sasha according to his own system. Let me put it this way. We are in excellent relations with Sasha, with her parents. We have a contract for a show that she has to skate. She is a super talented and very hardworking girl who lives only for figure skating. I know the only other such person on the planet among the skaters who is like this, our beloved Yuzuru Hanyu. I don't think that my husband and his team did nothing for Sasha. She became the bronze champion of the adult championships of Russia and the medalist of the world championship. This is her highest achievement in sports so far. If Sasha had listened to Jenya in everything at the world championship, she would have become the world champion. If Geni and his team think so, and I cannot disagree with them. Trusova and Kastornaya spent last season with Plushenka, both returned to a Terry to Baridza. I still think that the arrival of Elena and Sasha was our strategic mistake. So is the division between the ice and the coaches. Kostornaya, Zhenya hardly ever coached. Wait, but I remember that Plushenka's angels wrote on Instagram that Plushenka and Rezanov were training her together. Zhenya coached Elena for only a month and a half. And when Sasha set the condition to choose either she or Kosternaya, my husband chose her. When athletes set such conditions, I agree with Eteri Georgievna. There will be no sense. And Alyona was completely occupied by Sergei Rezanov. Both Alyona and Sasha did not have a sparring partner. Zhenya came, helped, gave some advice. But Alyona trained very little. Her back hurt badly. The doctors forbade exercise. Why is everyone silent about this? She had COVID, a complication, a viral sore throat. She practically did not exercise at full strength. It's hard to talk about a full season. Not because Seriosa Rezanov is a bad coach, but because she was ill all season. In total, she trained fully for only two months. For four of them, she was ill. She came to us without an axle, and now ten months have passed. But so we, far we have seen not a pure axle at the competition. Alyona is 18 years old, not 15. Not everything is as simple as everyone would like. I will be sincerely glad if she succeeds. She's a very talented girl. I'm very sorry that Genia could not train her. It's a pity. Tarasova said that my husband has been working for a year. Why mislead viewers? He has been working for four years. As a co-owner of the academy, I see that three junior girls are Grand Prix finalists. Half of the finalists at the World Grand Prix series are three girls from Plushenka's Angels. They have nothing to do with Tuberidze. These are Zhinina, Zhilina, and Muryavova. Well, Zhilina was with the Terry Tuberidze. Tuberidze never trained her. Everything that Veronica can do was taught by her mother, Ludmila Nikolaevna of Ferva, who also works in our team now. Then Sergei Grozanov did not train her long. We also have a boy, Kirill Sarnovsky, who is a finalist of the Grand Prix series. He trained for three years with his younger brother and sister. Here's another example. Tudbaridze kicked Sofia Titova out at the age of eight. She said that she was unfit for the job. Now Titova is 12. Zhenya has been studying with her for four years, 
and Titova beat all the young girls of Tudbaridza. Axel jumped three and a half revolution in competition, and she made a cascade of a quadruple toe loop, double toe loop. This is an indicator that Genia and his team are working. Yes, we all understand that Genia is a beginner coach. We do not argue about this. But I don't think Tudbaridza is the greatest coach. The greatest coaches are Mishin, Moskvina, Zhuk, Tarasova, Chekovskaya. Tudbaridza is an excellent coach. She's a super team. They are great fellows. But Tudbaridza will become the greatest coach when her athletes will pass not one Olympics, but two, three, four. This, in my opinion. And it has a right to exist, since I have been related to figure skating for many years, and I know a lot. But I don't consider it necessary to say so far. What is the greatest in the assembly line of female athletes, practically children, who do not have an adult career in sports? Explain this to me, as a mother of an athlete boy, wife of an athlete, and now a coach. I would like my child in sports to have a long career like my husband. I don't want him to graduate from sports at the age of 15. We see Yulia Lipnitskaya who works for us, Alina Zagitova, Zhenya Medvedeva. The girls did not go to a second Olympics, as did, for example, Ira Slutskaya, or the same Yuna Kim, or now Asada. If we are talking about the greatness of coaches, then this is, of course, Alexei Nikolaevich Mishin, who went through four Olympics with my husband and brought the country four medals with one athlete. Lisa took the Misheva at the age of 25 will try to qualify for the Olympics and compete with 15-year-old Camila Valieva. And therefore, the whole world will root for her. This is overcoming. She is closer than ever to her dream. And she, by the way, is also a Grand Prix finalist. In response to Rudhovskaya, who said that Tarasova's opinion was not authoritative for her, Tarasova answered, Who is Yana Rudhovskaya to answer me? Well, Olympic champion, state Duma deputy, Svetlana Zurova, commented on the words of the honored coach of the USSR, Tatiana Tarasova, about the son of Evgeny Plushenka, Alexander Dorf Dorf. Plushenka. Tarasova said in a secret for a million program that she does not yet see the potential of Plushenka Jr., who is engaged in figure skating. I will do not discuss Tatiana Otolevna. She really has the right to her opinion. Every expert has. I will express my point of view on the matter. I think that children under a certain age cannot be told at all whether they are promising or unpromising. If you want our children to be healthy so that they go on in sports, if a child at the age of seven is told that he is hopeless, this is wrong. Let him practice. Let him enjoy. You know, when they turn to me, and asked to show my six-year-old child to Irina Alexandrovna Wiener. I said, don't try to do this. The girl now likes to go in for sports. And if Wiener now announces the verdict, will you quit gymnastics and live with it? And if she wins some competition from you, she likes it, let her practice. When she is 15, 16 years old, and she understands that there is no growth, no result, then she will decide. And so she will practice and enjoy the fact that she loves sports. It is impossible to tell any child that he is hopeless at this age. I saw a lot of hopeless children who with their hard work achieve results. And I don't know a single specialist who would say 100% that this or that child is hopeless. Zurova said. Well then later, Yana took to Telegram, the favorite medium of Russians and revelled QAnon Republicans. Music producer Yana Rudhovska turned to the honored figure skating coach of the USSR, Tatiana Tarasova. We can convey to the respected Tatiana Anatolevna that if I am no one, then let her no longer pronounce my name and do not touch our child. We raised her ratings. I hope her goal has been achieved. I think all mothers will understand what I mean, and someday it will come to her. Well, after these predictions, Sanya will have even more incentive in sports, Rukovskaya wrote in her Telegram channel. Then, Evgeny Plushenka took to Instagram. Two-time Olympic champion Evgeny Plushenka posted a photo with his son Alexander, 
after an ice show in Turin. With my newsmaker, should we be in sorrow, Sanya? He wrote. And while I personally won't comment on the talent of such a boy, I will certainly be watching more closely. Perhaps it is what Yana wants. Well then, commentator Dmitry Gubierniev spoke about the words of producer Yana Rudhovskaya to the honored coach of the USSR in figure skating, Tatiana Tarasova. Since Yana Rudhovskaya is a very famous specialist, an honored trainer of the USSR, who has trained with both Mishin and Moskvina for a long time, she knows what she is talking about. By the way, it was after Yana's advice that Elena Anatolevna Tchaikovskaya began to work really well with Pakamova and Gorshkov, and they won Olympic gold. Moreover, it was Yana Rulhovskaya who opened Belusova and Protopopov to the world, and it was against their departure, but they did not obey her. Therefore, we must definitely listen to the words of the wonderful Yana, because she understands. The choreographer of the Ateri Tudberidze group was also asked his opinion, as he is the master of the Boogie Woogie, Alexei Zhelizhnyakov, and he spoke about the conflict between producer Yana Rudhovskaya and the honored trainer of the USSR, Tatyana Tarasova. Tatyana Anatolevna will not say in the eyebrow, but in the eye. She is rarely expressed, but deftly, Tatyana Anatolevna did not just put herself on this matter for no reason. Let's judge. Who attacks Yana Rudhovskaya and Evgeny Plushenka? Already a long time ago, no one said a word. Everyone was quiet because we were tired of all of these scandals, squabbles, and distortions of facts. But at the same time, Yana Rudhovskaya still needs to say something and add fuel to the fire. I believe that Tatiana Anatolevna answered reasonably. I support her words 100%. Why have this squabble again? Can't we live without it? Why can't we as colleagues respect each other? I do not mean Yana Rudhovskaya. She's not our colleague. Our colleague... Eugenia Plushenka. So how much oil can you add and start this useless war? Tudoriza's team does not need this. It plows and plows for itself, Zhelizhnyakov said. Well, then president of Sambo 70, Renat Lyshev, commented on the words of the wife of two-time Olympic champion Evgeny Plushenka, producer Yana Rudhovskaya, about coach Eteri Tudoriza. Rudhovskaya said, I don't think Tudoriza is the greatest coach. What's the greatest female athlete in the assembly line who doesn't have an adult career in sports? Lyshev said, it's just cheap and petty envy. Eteri Gyurkivna is shown everywhere, talked and written about. Achieve this result first and then start criticizing. Tudbriza is undoubtedly a great and outstanding coach. She also got him demoted from his job. <laughs> Honored coach of Russia in figure skating, Eteri Tudoridze, was then called to comment on the matter. Of the words of the wife of Gene Plushenka, music producer Yana Rudhovskaya, addressed to her. Hearing the name Rudhovskaya, Tudoridze hung up. Reports and meta ratings that rule correspondent. Well, this is really a turn of events. Then later today, the United States announced that diplomats will not be going to the Olympics in Beijing. So then every Russian official was asked their opinion about that as well. Alexander Zhukov said, I am sure that the games will become a real sporting event, even without American diplomats. Alexander Tikhonov said, The USA is the most painful place on the whole earth. It's cancer. It's great that their officials won't be at the Olympics. And Fisa Retsova commented, in the United States, every day something is invented. We will perform without them. And sure they will. And we'll be watching. And so will Yana Rudhovskaya, as she plans her future army to take on the girls from Team Tudberidze, which makes us very excited about the skating season of 2022 to 2023. Yeah, David Splitnikov, this is As the Blade Turns, and we will be watching for you and honoring the words of Yana Rulhovskaya, Eteri Tudbaridze, and Tatiana Anatolevna Tarasova. If you are new here, please subscribe below and grant us all of your love and affection, as we love you. Baka.